Hello. So if you're with me and if you're just really following with me so far, that's wonderful. So we said we started with the LSMW. We created the recording right here. We done the recording. After creating the recording, we created the source structure. And we went inside the object overview and we get all the fields for the columns. And then we created our source fields, meaning uh, what are the fields inside the source structure. Then we've done the relationship between the recording and the source structure. Then we've actually done the, yeah, this is what the relationship is. Then we did the field mapping, mapping field field by field, the fields from inside the recording and the fields from the inside the structure, we mapped them against each other inside the field mapping. We skipped this one here, then we specified the file. So we have actually created our file, upload file. So we've created our upload file and we saved it as a text tab delimited. And now is the time to assign this file to our information. So you click here into that same file, make sure you click into the change mode. So as you can see here, we assigned our file that we got. The upload file, we assigned it to the source. So you click save. Okay, then you go back. Okay, then you click on to, re uh, then you just go to take it to the next step to read the data. Then you just say, yes, I wanna read the data. And click in here and you click okay or allow. And as you can see here, we have 70. How, how, do, we, how do they know that we have 70? If you go to your file here, I have only 70. 70 is going to take maybe five minutes or seven minutes to be downloaded. But anyways, 70, you have, seven, you have 70, 70 records, as you can see here. You have 70 counts, 70 customs to be uploaded. That's why the system read 70. Anyways, these steps now is only mechanical. You didn't have to do anything. You just like need to look at it. Okay, make sure you do it. Now I'm going to display the, the data read. The system is going to take you from one step to another. You just follow the system. I'm going to see here, as you can see here, I'm looking into the data. I don't have to do and change anything. Okay, if you want to... Okay, then, then I'm gonna, the system is going to take you to the convert data. You click in here, convert data. The system is going to convert data. We don't have to do anything. The system is going to convert the 70, 70 data that we have done. And you go back. And then you're going to display the converted data. As you can see here, the system is going to convert all the data for you. Okay, all the system is converting all the data. So as you can see here, here's the dates and all, all, this, all the information that we've actually uploaded. And now the system is going to create the batch in possession. This is the most important thing. The system is going to create the batch in possession. So you go here, create the batch in possession for us. And all you need to say, say, okay. And there's a batch, one batch in possession is being created for you. And you say, okay. And then we have to run the batch in possession. To run the batch in possession, you click run. And you select the CST, whatever is the session. And you click process. You do not want to do it in the foreground. If you process it in the foreground, you're going to see the screen like popping for you. Like the screen is going to open for you. It's going to create a cost center, just like a recording, just like a video. You'll see every single cost center created in front of you. But you don't want to do that. You want to do it in the background where the system in the background will actually do it for you. Okay. And what I always do as a first log or as a, as a, as a first uh, transaction, I want to do it in the background, but I want the system to display if there is any error. So if there's any error, it will stop and it will show it to me and it will tell me this is an error. Usually you want to do everything in the background. So the system will never stop. It will do everything in the background. Uh, once everything is completed, just that's it. Then you have to go check if the data has been downloaded or not. But since this is our first run, Usually, the business, when they actually try to do their LSMW, they start with one or two, maybe three uh, cost centers, three master data that to upload, just to have a test of the system, make sure it works. They do it in the, in the, in, in the, in the foreground or they do it in the display error only. But once they know the program is actually working, they can just go upload a new file and they upload like a th file with thousands of data and then it's supposed to be working. But now I started with 70, which is usually I started with much, much less, but this is the, the data that I have. So I started with the whole thing, which is okay. So for now, I'll say, okay, I will do it just in the background. I want to imagine that I have 70 customers. I want to do it like in real. I'll do it in the background. And after that, you just wait. You just take a cup of coffee, five minutes, few minutes. It depends on, depends on the number of data that you have. 70 is going to take a little bit of time, maybe a few minutes. But if you have like thousands, like 5,000 or so, it's going to take maybe hours. So you go and you come back after a few hours and maybe six hours or so until it's completed. But for now, I'm going to do it in the background. I'm going to step away. Okay. As you see here, now it's been done for you for you in the background and it's still like processing and working for you in the background. If you want to actually display the progress as it unfolds, 
as it's actually being created, you can go to SM37 and you click here, choose job name. And as you can see here, all what you need to do is refresh. It's still, it's still it's in a released stage, so you don't have to do anything. All what you need to do is just continue, like wait, as you can see here, it's still like in the process to be released. So it's already been released, but it's not yet completed. Once it's completed, you're going to see this one is going to turn to green if it's completed in a successfully. It's going to turn to red if it's completed unsuccessfully. And here it shows how much time has been actually delayed and how much duration that it's taken. So you click refresh every, every once in a while. As you can see here, it's been done quickly. So 37 seconds, it's, it's been actually delayed before process. And 10 seconds, it took only 10 seconds to finish the entire thing. So it's finished. I mean, I'm hoping that we've actually managed to to create the cost centers. How do we know if we created the cost centers or not? You come here, look, this is the cost centers that I'm trying to create, 6,001, 6,002, 6,003, 4, and so on and so forth. So easiest thing that you need to do, KS03, and try to look into 6,003, for example, and have your hands, oops, I don't know why I'm doing this one, 6,003 in your controlling area. I have an extra zero, sorry about that. And hopefully, hopefully, it's working. As you can see here, here is 6003, which is expense, expensiva, expensiva, and this is the this is the manager name, Daryl, Daryl. So let's come here, 6003, which is expensiva, and this is uh this is the, the the name of the person, the manager, which is which is Daryl. Uh, it's production uh, department, as you can see, production department. That means it's created the way that we wanted it to be. Okay. So that's a good sign. So that means we've created almost 70 plus 70 cost centers in 10 seconds. I'm going to show you later on. And now this is how you actually create. If, for example, I'm, I'm just going to pause for a second here. Let's say you, this is the first time you, you've, you've done it. So you go to LSMW. If you want to have now, let's say you have thousands of, LS, of, of cost centers you want to create. You go and you, you select your project that you created at the beginning. You select the project that you created at the beginning and you click execute and all what you need to do you come here specify file and you if you have a new file i don't have a new file right now but if you have a new file all what you need to do here click and change for example to the new file that you have file number 13 and 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 all what you need to do once you save it the system is going to take you to the next step assign then you go in it in and out then you go to read in and out then you go to display in and out you go to do convert and so on and so forth until you finish the whole thing just like what we did you didn't have to start from the beginning you only now you have a program that you can use it over and over and over and over again anyways we just looked into one specific cost center which is 6003 and which is working but we haven't checked from 6001 until 6017 this we call it reconciliation after you upload you have to reconcile okay if you've really just like paid attention to the, which, what we said earlier. So we extract the data from the old system, then we do data cleansing, then we do uh, an upload to, to the system. We use LSMW since we are we are having ECC for now. Then we're gonna reconcile. How are you gonna reconcile? Okay, this is what I'm gonna be focusing on in the next session. We're gonna see together, how can we reconcile the data? How can we be sure the data that we uploaded is the right data that we intended to upload? All right, so, I'll let you enjoy the rest of the day. So I'll see you in the next session where we're going to be talking about how we're going to reconcile the master data or the transaction data that we've uploaded into the system. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon.